so many people are into it now. It's very meditative, it's very relaxing, and it's just the, the sound of the water and the environment that you're in, wildlife around you, and just being out there, you know, in nature is amazing. When you're fly fishing, it's no, like no other thing is that you're so focused on presenting your fly and, you know, and, and, and spotting fish that you don't think about the stresses of life, you know, work or projects that have to be done. For that moment in time, you know, you're very relaxed. Jimmy Carter, Herbert Hoover, Tiger Woods, um, Eric Clapton, uh, Reba McIntyre, John Wayne. I mean, all these famous people fly fish. And, and you say, well, why do they do that? I mean, they have an opportunity to do anything they want in their life because, you know, they have the wherewithal to do it, and they pick fly fishing. So fly fishing, it's a different animal. It's, you know, even though you might go fly fishing with your friends, typically you just, you know, disperse. Everybody goes and does their own thing. For that moment in time, you're like in your own world. Especially like what if you deal with people every day, you know, it's good to kind of take a break from, you know, being surrounded or talking to people all the time. It's such a relaxing thing. But once you get into fly fishing, there's other aspects. There's nothing more fun than catching fish on flies that you tied yourself. There's a lot of fly tires now, but but most people are, there's a, a fear of tying, you know, and, and really it's not anything difficult. I mean, obviously there are some flies that are very time consuming and difficult, but most people don't fish that type of fly. Most flies are pretty, pretty simple to tie. You know, it just takes a little bit of uh, technique and that's all it takes. As I was going through that, the steps of tying, people would say, oh, you need to tie this fly. Oh, you need to tie that fly. So what I did was I just bought all the materials and then found out later that, you know what, it's not such a great fly as far as catching fish. After, you know, 20 something years of, of tying flies, I've kind of reduced it to the uh, point where I know these certain patterns catch fish. If you're just starting fly tying, that's probably where you should start. Let's just tie flies that actually work. Don't worry about these, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of different patterns that you could tie. Some of them are just regional and others you can use them anywhere. That's kind of um, what you want to do is you want to tie flies that actually are very effective. That's just knowing people, you know, people that are going to be honest with you and say, oh yeah, these are the flies that I use and I catch many fish with it. You know, if you just stay with simple flies that work, your investment in it is very little and the reward is great. There's nothing more uh, fun and stimulating than catching fish on your own flies. You say, well, I'm gonna design a fly that's more effective. By effective, I mean it floats better, it appears more natural, it, uh, it catches more fish. That's pretty much the bottom line is, does it catch more fish than the other flies? The most important thing is size, shape, and color when you're designing a fly. Then what I do is I, I decide on material, you know, what type of material I'm gonna use for this particular fly. The art form is actually, you know, designing it and actually tying it so, you know, you have the least amount of thread wraps and, and material because you don't want to make it too bulky. And so scientifically, you want to, uh, you know, make it look like the natural, but yet have some movement to it. And artistically, each one is like a sculpture. When you're tying it, it has to have certain proportions, kind of look uh, like the insect, which is art. And you want to tie it as good as you can because there are people that maybe don't look at the detail so much. They're just trying to, you know, get a fly out. And they say to themselves, well, you know, this, this fly is good enough. It's still gonna, even though it doesn't look great, it still catch fish, it still catch fish. 
but I, I'm from the, the, the school that, you know, if you have an opportunity to do it perfectly, then why not do it? Because it can't hurt you to do it perfectly. And, and it doesn't take you any more time. And that's kind of how it is with fly tires. <clears throat> Most of them are pretty detailed and, 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 do, trying to, and yet there's an artistic flair to it also. <laughs> so it's a both, both artistic and scientific. You want to have a good finished product that is effective, right? If you're an architect, you want to design a house that won't fall over. But the bottom line always is, is it catching fish? I have a couple of designs that uh, Umpqua Feather Merchants picked up, which is the largest fly manufacturing company in the world. And so my flies that I've designed, they thought it was effective enough to, to actually produce it. And, uh, and they sell them through fly shops and, and, and fly, fly fishing companies and things like that. There's, there's all types of flies that have been, been tied for many, many years. So the evolution of that fly, you know, is, is um, it's, you still are trying to imitate the, the fly itself. And there usually hasn't been too many changes as far as, you know, the, uh, the, the pattern itself, because everybody kind of just copies it and does it over and over and over again. It's the fly designer that wants to do it something a little bit different, that's more effective. Uh, that changes the whole. Um, it changes the, the the whole design of that particular fly. Even though that with the advent of the new hook styles, the technology on hooks, better material, you know, that type of thing it hasn't changed very much. When I uh, started designing my Iwani Dun, which is a mayfly imitation, uh, I wanted to make it look more realistic, and, and float better, have a larger hook gape, and so I, I kind of went off the grid a little bit. And, and designed this particular fly. It's been very effective. I mean, it's well received in the in our industry. You know, for fly fishermen and fly uh, fly fisher women. You know, so that's the fun of designing flies. You know, because that's the the whole premise is you want to design a fly that catches more fish. For me, I want to fish. I want to catch fish. That's the most important part for me, anyway. That's my enjoyment.